folks. In a few hours, it's going to be Christmas Eve. What are we going to do about it? Nobody's in the mood for Christmas, Major Adams. Well, let's hear whether you're in a mood for it or not. Bill, I want you to take somebody with you and go out and cut a good-looking pine tree. Bring it in here and set it up in the middle of the circle. Right away. But this is no time for Christmas. Why isn't it? If anybody ever needed Christmas, we sure do. Charlie? Yes, sir? Go mix up a batch of cookies. What kind? How many kinds can you make? One kind. Make them. Yes, sir. Christmas in this country? Yes, Mrs. Dorman, Christmas in this country. Maybe Christmas in this country most of all. Where are all those children that were making those ornaments last night? Come on in here, all of you. Now, I know I can depend on you kids to trim the tree for me, can't I, huh? Yes. But there's no candle. It is a Christmas tree without candles. You won't be able to see it when it gets dark. Well, where in thunderation did John Reed really expect me to get candles? Mr. Reed thought that you would get them from me. Oh. He knew that I made all the candles for the tree. I have all we need. You don't want a Christmas tree. Why not? With Papa not cold in his grave. You know respect. Yes, I have respect. But respect is not all I have for Papa. I also have love. Papa loved Christmas. We have the candles. We have the tree. Thank you, Mama. No. No. Thank you, Major Adams. All of a sudden, just now, you make me see something. That life goes on. It is good that life goes on. We'll have a Christmas. And it is good that life goes on. Bless you. 